Hey, I'm Adam Chaim. And I'm Shoshana Chaim, and we are Propelled by Plants. Plants. Welcome to today's video. We are celebrating our 300th 300 podcast. podcast. What? Are you going to repeat everything I said? Crazy. Um, so th for those of you who are listeners of the Plant Trainers podcast, this is it. This is the Plant Cave. This is where we do all of our recording. We normally have a big microphone sticking up over here. And um, <laughs> what we want to do today is we want to get to know you a little bit better but really what we're going to do is we're going to have you get to know us a little bit better but feel free in the comments below to answer any of the questions that we are talking about today i think the idea was that you hear from us all the time and we wanted to give you the opportunity to hear from us from a different perspective and get to know us a little bit better than just hearing us on the podcast so one of our listeners wanted to know how we met Oh. So we're going to go backwards a little bit. We're going to go back to like 1996, I think. 1996. No, going we back. met. Yeah. Yeah, I went back to a high school to volunteer as a basketball coach. And it just happened to be the school that you had graduated from. Right. So I went back to help with the basketball team as well because I had played for five years. So we ended up coaching together. We ended up coaching a basketball team together. And that's how we met. That's how we met. Yeah, and that's history, Pretty definitely. Cool. Um, somebody else wanted to know what your favorite workout is. Well, that changes. It depends what I'm training for or what I'm doing. Uh, I really do enjoy running. You see me doing that quite a bit, and that's because it allows me to disconnect from everything I'm doing and just focus on my breathing and what I'm doing at that moment. So I like to run. Nothing fancy. For me, it, it really depends on the time of year. It depends on the day. Um, I go through bits where I love group fitness because I think I like the group better than the fitness. Um, I can run. I can work. I can run. I can work out. Uh, yoga, sleeping. You know, all the good things. All the good things. It looks a little bit different for me every single day as well. Um, okay, ready for the next one? Sure. All right. If you were not teaching and you weren't doing plant trainers what would you do? I'd be traveling. I'd be trying to find new places to go that I haven't been, explore different cultures, and just go check out the world. So if I wasn't doing the things that I do, I mean, I do so much that I feel like there's nothing left. But um, I mean, my, my goal in life is just to, you know, to have fun and to somehow teach so if it wouldn't be in this setting if it wouldn't be in a teacher setting if it wouldn't be you know uh going and doing the conferences that i do i i would just find a way to help people and and find a way to t teach them in another way which i guess i kind of have anyway and you do it through traveling through traveling so brings me to the next question what is the best vacation you ever took or trip because not all our trips have been vacations per se that's really hard to answer because every trip that we take or go on has a different purpose to it and it depends what i'm looking for at that time i really like the places that we've been to that have been very different from where we live like places in asia where the culture is very different, the weather's always warm, which I like. Uh, but Not to always, pick but one yeah. specific place, that's tough. There's too many. So that's from, a cop out, I think. <laughs> I think that's a cop out, but I think I have a few cop outs coming up, so don't worry. Um, for me, it's definitely when we went on our honeymoon to Thailand because that changed us and that opened up so many more doors. We were already travelers, but it took us out of that travel to the islands that you've already been to kind of thing and start to explore more of the world and that's what made us say when we were there we were like how do we get to see more of Asia how can we do it and then we ended up living overseas and and it, it changed us so for me it was that it was yeah. that yeah. all right um Marvel or DC Marvel okay for me don't I don't know the I difference, don't know the difference. <laughs> And then if you could be one character, which one would you choose? Well, I'm already an Iron Man, so <laughs> I guess that's the easy answer. Uh, he's got pretty cool technology, too. So I guess I'd go with Iron Man for now. I'd go with Wonder Woman. She's hot. All right. Um, <laughs> you, um, what's your favorite song? Favorite song? Yeah. I don't really have a favorite song. What, like, like, <laughs> song? 
I don't know. I don't really pay attention to music. I mean, I like different types of music all the time. It depends on the mood, depends on the purpose. When I met you, you're all about dog's eye view. Oh my gosh. I don't even know when the last time I... People don't even know who that is. <laughs> um, I, I've always been a Pink Floyd fan. I've always been an Elton John, Billy Joel fan. Elton John. Uh, stuff like that. Coldplay. Yeah, I don't pay too much attention to music either, but there's this version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Israel Kama Kawi Wooli. Yeah. If hopefully, it's a good hope, one. I hope I said that right. Yeah. Um, but it, it warms my heart. But if you ask my kids, they'd say anything by Elton John. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I listen to him that often anymore, but they just know that for some reason. They'd say, I guess that's why they call it the blues by yeah. Elton John. Yeah. What's your favorite color? Color? Color. Well... I like green. Plant That's why I green. have a green car now. <laughs> uh, favorite color's always been purple. 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 So for me, I don't have a favorite color. I've chosen blue because as a kindergarten teacher for so long, I got asked that question. And when people ask, I just needed an answer and I just chose blue. I actually don't... Um, Unless it's specific to a certain time of day or something that's going on, I don't have, it's not like my whole life needs to be purple or blue or, or anything like that. Colors are colors and they come and go in and out throughout yeah, the day. But add more purple in your life and things just become more fun. Or orange. Orange is orange. adventure. Yeah. Orange means adventure. All right. The best advice you have for somebody who wants to change your life. For someone who wants to change their life, there's so many different aspects that you could want to change, but the first step is knowing that you do want to make a change. And then once you've made that decision, it's really taking the first step in that direction, no matter how small it might be. The smallest move towards the direction of the change you want to make is going to make the biggest difference. For me, it's make the decision to do it. Decide why you're going to do it. Write both of those things down and take it one step at a time. Write down your goals. Make sure they're not too big and check them off as you go. Check them off. I like that. Check it off. That's good stuff. All right. So hopefully you have learned something about us here today and you're still with us. If you have not checked out the Plant Trainers podcast yet, we now have 300 amazing podcasts for you to listen to. You could find it on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Anywhere I love that you, radio. What is it? I heart radio. I heart radio. Anywhere that you consume your podcasts, you can find us. And if you can't find us, let us know. We'll help you get there. But you can always get it straight from our website at planttrainers.com. Have a great day, everybody.